Hi, I'm Jenny with Sharp. What we're going to be going over is doing creating booklets that are folded and saddle stitched. Now there's a few different ways to create that depending on how you set up your actual document. So we're going to show you a couple different ways of how you can do this. First, I'm just going to take a document that is a eight and a half by 11 individual eight pages. I'm going to go into the properties and I'm going to tell the print driver under layout to create that booklet. So to rearrange those pages so when we fold it, it's all in the correct order. I'm gonna ask for it to come out on ledger or the 11 by 17 paper. And then I'm going to go over to staple and I'm going to just tell it to sell stitch. I will get a pop-up that will ask telling me, depending on my finisher that came with the MFP, of how the capacity of the staples are. That is as simple as it is. All I'm telling you is to rearrange the pages, put it on 11 by 17, fold it, and staple it. With this, you also have the option to add a cover. The cover can be just be colored paper, or it can be of a heavier stock. So in this instance, I would actually tell the paper source, hey, where is my regular 11 by 17 paper, the insides of my document, the white paper. Then I'm gonna click on this arrow to the right of job handling, and I'm gonna click on inserts, and I'm gonna go down to covers and inserts. I'm gonna click on the settings, and I'm going to tell the driver, where am I putting my heavier stock or regular paper. So I'm gonna choose either the bypass or if you had another drawer, and what type of paper is in that. Did I do regular plain paper? Would I do heavy one, which you would have already told at the copier? Then you're going to, under print method, tell it to run both sides and click add. So I'm telling it, I want a cover. It's gonna be double-sided, pulling from the bypass, and my paper type is heavy one, which matches the copier. When I click OK, it'll ask me to save this setting, so I'm just going to give it a name as cover. At this point, I've told my document, kind of in a little square down here, that I'm creating a booklet, sow stitch in the center, and this right here is my cover. At this time, I can click OK and run my particular job. The other I'm going to go back to factory defaults. So now I'm going to show you a different way to do where you're actually creating the document as an imposed document. So you're actually creating the booklet in the software versus having the MFP rearrange those pages and create that booklet. So I'm uh, in as a PDF. So I'm going to tell to create a booklet. So now even my screen looks a little different, my view and I'm gonna tell it's landscape. I can create this as an 11 by 17, an eight and a half by 14, or 11 by 17. So that's just all in the design process. Once you design your, that it's already in the booklet form, it's already in the um, order, you will go under properties. And really all I need to tell it is to saddle stitch. Again, I get that pop-up. And to do short edge for double-sided printing. That way it's reading so I can read it like a book. And these are the only two things that you need to tell because you've done all the work in the software. You also can, just like the other style, add a cover to this as well.